Wants to battle tag of 2016. I got tagged by my boy Crimson Seabed. And um, what we're gonna be doing today is it's a series of questions, kind of. So it, you know, it's just people wanting to know um, about the community and what your thoughts are, what you know, what kind of things you want to do for next year. Blah 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 blah. Um, it was originally created by Birdkeeper Toby. He's right there as well. Uh, go check out both of their links in the description below. Um, Chase is an amazing content creator, as is Toby. So go ahead and drop them a bunch of love. Tell them that I for sent you. Uh, now we're going to get right into it. I'm going to center myself because I moved off to the side so you can see faces and stuff. Um, now I'm actually doing this. Um, I have the questions up on my computer screen. I am in my chair and we're going to get ready. So question number one. What was your favorite part of the Pokemon 20th anniversary? Um, Pokemon 20th anniversary, I'd probably have to say it was... Um, a mixture of Pokemon Go, plushes, and the games. Um, I thought Pokemon Go was really, really great because it brought together a lot of people. Um, you know, it came out just around the time where people were like, eh, Pokemon's really dead. Like, Oraz had been out for two years, people were sitting on it, like, no one wanted to watch Pokemon content, and all of a sudden, Pokemon Go comes out. And people were like, Oh, I need that. And, you know, you look in the streets, there's people playing everywhere. You know, I'm talking, meeting people I hadn't even known before. And it's like, you know, this is the craziest thing ever. And then we get to plushes, and it's like, I got so many cool plushes. I got my Rowlet plush. Um, I got a Pancham plush this year as well. Uh, I got Litten. What else did I get? I got an Umbreon. I got an Umbreon too. I would get them, but they're all the way on the other side of my room, and that requires me to walk like, 25 feet now um number three being the games sun and moon i couldn't have asked for a better game i'm gonna get more into sun and moon later obviously there, there's some questions about stuff like that so um I'm, I'm gonna put sun and moon off to the side um question number two what is your favorite pokemon from pokemon sun and moon do you guys really have to ask that to me as a question you all know it's decidui I don't have to say anything else. Go check out the top five shinies, the top five Pokemon, top five grass types, top five starters. Um, do I need to name any of my other top five videos where Decidueye is not number one? No. It, it's, it's my boy Decidueye. Go check out those videos too. I'm gonna have those links in the description. Um, so yeah, <laughs> don't even get me started. Uh, number three, which video are you most proud of making this year? Most excited for next year? Oh God, that's a good question. Video I'm most excited for making this year? Um, running through them, um, it have to be my shiny Rowlet. Uh, not because of the number of views it got, but because that video, I spent literally 17 hours straight in my desk with my Twitch chat of about, i say it was 12, 13 people the whole time. Like, and they were troopers, by the way. Every single one of them stayed in the chat almost the entire time. Um... But we stayed up the whole time. Ready, set, go. And then I went to go shiny hunt for it. And then I finally caught it. And it was like, it was the experience of making that video. Not the actual like, oh my god, I got a bunch of views. No, it was the experience of it. And I've had people ask me, would you ever do something like that again? Wait for Gen 8. We'll talk. We'll see how long it takes to do the, um, the stop reset. If there even is a Generation 8. So, yeah. That, that, was the, that was the video I was most excited for in 2016. In 2017, um, I know this is going to sound a little weird, but, um, VGC videos. 
I'm I'm excited to make VGC videos this upcoming year because I want to seriously get invested into Wi-Fi battles and um, I want to make it to Worlds at Anaheim for VGC. I know I'm way behind. Um, I haven't even gotten any points yet, but you know I've got till August. I've got plenty of time to rack up some points. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really excited to upload some VGC to the channel. Um, I'm really up excited for more shinies. Really excited for more shinies. You guys just saw the 100 shiny compilation, or I'm sorry, my 50 more, which would have been 100 shinies in total. So I'm at 100 shinies this upcoming year, 2017. I want to upload two of those. I want to upload, like, I want to upload saying, hey, look, we have 300 shinies. I want to double the amount of shiny Pokemon I have. Or no, I want to triple. So I want to go from 100 to 300. I want to, I want that to happen. I want, I want that to be a thing. So I want there to be multiple compilations of shiny reactions as well. Um, so <laughs> that, that, that was a really good question. That probably one of the better ones so far. Number four, what is the coolest bit of Pokemon merch you got this year? Um, does a Rosokin hoodie count? If not, um, I would have to go with, I did get a lot of plushes. Like I said, um, I got a lot of the cards. I didn't mention that. Boom, giant Snorlax GX box that I just opened. Um, what else did I get? Oh, what would have been my favorite piece of Pokemon merch? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with plushes. I like plushes. Hint, hint for the future, plushes. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Oh, I got, I got plushes. I like that. Um, number five. What has been the best Pokemon video you have seen this year? So there's actually a couple Pokemon videos I've seen this year where I went, wow, that was some really good quality content. Um, number one, uh, it's not a specific video, but it's a channel. Um, it's called The Pokemon Professor, or AKA JD. Um, go ahead, follow this dude on Twitter. His, his stuff's gonna be right here um, for his channel and all of his other stuff. He is an amazing guy. Um, him and his friend Casey, they're both amazing. I met them at PAX East uh, this year in 2016. Can't wait to see them again next year in 2017. Um, they were both amazing dudes. Their content is seriously top notch. Um, when I met this dude, he was only at about a thousand subscribers and he just, boom, went straight past me. Um, you know, skyrocketed and I was like, that's some good quality content right there. I'm so excited for him. Um, so yeah, definitely go ahead and check out the Pokemon Professor. His videos are hilarious. Uh, I would love to be able to work with him one day. I'd love to be able to work with uh, the Pokemon Professor. Um, now, is there any other stuff that falls under that, the best Pokemon video? Um, it is asking for one, um, so I don't kind of want to break that rule. I'll, you know, I want to stick around that. Um, so yeah, Pokemon Professor has definitely got to be the best content I've seen so far this year. Um, number six, what should your viewers expect in 2017? 2016, you guys got let down a lot by me. I was like, you know, 2016, we're going to upload Let's Plays, we're going to upload Shinies, blah, 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 blah. And around the beginning of the year, um, you know, we had the Pokemon Sun, or the Alpha Sapphire Randomizer. Uh, that was a horrendous flop. Um, I literally stopped uploading that halfway through. No, I only got to like episode 17 or 18, something like that. And I just legit stopped and then finished it on Twitch. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, you know, you didn't get very many shiny videos from me. You didn't get very much from me at all, which I need to apologize and say thank you guys so much for dealing with me and all that. Um, in 2017, don't expect any of that expect daily uploads and if I miss an upload expect double uploads the next day um actually no expect double uploads almost every day um expect uh, try to expect a shiny every day um if I can I can't guarantee that they won't get back cataloged or that they will get back cataloged because it is hard to get shinies not everyone's just like oh my god I got a shiny like pools and pools of them um except for one other person but you know who you are, sir. Um, anywho. 
yeah, no, 2017, you guys can expect uploads all the time. Um, Twitch, you can expect much more better quality streams. Um, you can expect um, collaborations with other big YouTubers, um, like guys like Crimson Seabad. Um, I would love to be able to work with uh, guys like A Drive and Rozo and uh, Galactic Elliot and Radioactive, a um, bunch of Twitch guys as well, um, mainly Twitch. But I would love to be able to um, do stuff with those guys on top of that, with including <clears throat> you know all the other bigger YouTubers as well. Um, so that's that's a lot what you guys can expect from me out of 2017. Hoping it's gonna be a good year. Hoping I live with my mom right now. The channel gets big enough to the point where we can rack in some revenue, and. I'm no longer living with my mom. It's going to be a difficult thing because I've lived with her my entire life. So hopefully, you know, this channel can get big enough and I can say, you know, I can hold this stably somewhat as a form of income and I can move out. I don't know. We will see. That's what, that's what I'm hoping happens in 2017. Off, uh, let's get off that ramble, that rant. That is question number six. God, question number six. How dare you? Um, and then let's move on to the last one. Question number seven. Um, name a channel with less subs your viewers would lo will love. Name a channel with less subs your viewers will love and should subscribe to. Well, that's a difficult one because I don't know at the time of this recording if he has less subs than me or not um but the person that tagged me crimson seabad if you're not already you know following him or subscribe to him um you are why why are you not subscribed to this boy he is amazing his content is great he's got some insanely good videos and uh you know he's just overall a great guy now if i could recommend a couple other people as well let me go to my channel, because I'm going to recommend two people that are in my um, squad members list. Um, I'm going to recommend uh, Steven, aka SMK Gaming. I know he's got more subs than me, but still, I really, really like his content. I really like all of his content. Um, so you should definitely go ahead and check him out. And then, who had less subs than me? There was someone I wanted to shout out. That I want you guys to go check out as well. He's he definitely has less subs than me. Rozo, it was Rozo. Rozo has less subs than me on YouTube because this is a YouTube video, not a Twitch video. So on YouTube, go check out Rozo's stuff. Um. So yeah, guys, definitely go check them out. Now, as is customary with uh, these tag videos, you have to tag three people, and I already know who I have in mind. Um. Now I did get tagged by Crimson Seabad. And I wanted to be like, yo, cool, man. So, a uh, big shout out to Chase for actually tagging me in this because this is my first one of these. I've never done one of these tag videos before. Um, you know, it, it's a great experience. It was really great to get to, you know, look over these questions and all that stuff. And, um, you know, try to figure out, you know, what, what all the Pokemon community really wants and expects from me. Um, so, I'm, I'm really glad I got to make this. Um, so the three people I'm going to be tagging today, they are going to be, number one, Rozo, because I said so. Not only that, but I'm wearing your sweatshirt, too. So. Uh, number two is going to be Galactic Elliot. I'm not sure if Elliot has already been tagged in this, but I'm going to tag him now. Um, so Galactic Elliot, you are going to be number two. And then number three... This is a long shot, because I'm pretty sure it's already been done. Um, Shady Penguin. If he has not been tagged, I'm tagging him now. Big, huge, just random name came to my head. Shady Penguin. So I'm tagging him as well. Um, I hope you guys all like this video. 
go ahead and hit the like button if you have um, subscribe if you aren't already for a bunch of great content coming up in 2017 um, and by that I mean tomorrow because tomorrow is 2017 so thank you guys all so much for putting up with me over this past year and all that stuff and um, yeah anywho peace and take care